act decisively and inspire the nation. A shocking display of violence unfolded in Mali's capital, Bamako, on September 17th, when jihadist groups launched a brazen attack that left dozens of students dead at a police training academy and set the presidential jet ablaze at the airport. This coordinated assault marks the most audacious strike since 2016, highlighting the alarming capability of jihadist factions linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIS to penetrate the heart of power in the Sahel. The recent surge in violence stems from several factors, including the collapse of Western-backed governments in Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger. A series of military coups since 2020 has replaced these regimes with juntas seeking support from Russian mercenaries, particularly the Wagner Group. Despite this shift, these governments continue to face escalating challenges, as evidenced by a dramatic rise in jihadist attacks. Data from the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Group reveals a troubling trend. Violent incidents involving jihadist groups in the Sahel have nearly doubled since 2021. In 2024 alone, there has been an alarming average of 224 attacks per month. This escalating violence is not just a security crisis, but also drives significant migration. The International Organization for Migration reports a 62% increase in migrants arriving in Europe from Sahelian countries during the first half of 2024, attributed to ongoing conflict and climate change. Burkina Faso has emerged as one of the most severely affected countries. In a particularly brutal attack on August 24th in Barcelona, jihadists affiliated with Al-Qaeda slaughtered hundreds of civilians in a single day, underscoring the devastating human toll of the violence. The Institute for Economics and Peace notes that Burkina Faso now ranks at the top of the Global Terrorism Index, with terrorism-related fatalities increasing by 68% this year, accounting for a quarter of all such deaths worldwide. According to United Nations estimates, the Al-Qaeda-aligned group JNM operates with a force of 5,000 to 6,000 fighters in the Sahel, while factions linked to ISIS have around 2,000 to 3,000 militants. These jihadist groups have established localized non-aggression pacts, though they also engage in conflicts with one another, indicating a complex and adaptive insurgency landscape. As the situation in the Sahel deteriorates, European governments face significant challenges in formulating a coherent response. Southern European nations, which receive the majority of migrants, advocate for continued communication and engagement with the military juntas. In contrast, other nations express concerns over the human rights implications of cooperating with these regimes. Even if a unified approach is achieved, European countries lack the military capacity and political leverage to provide substantial assistance, as many Sahelian nations have been resistant to Western intervention. This ongoing tension complicates efforts to address the root causes of instability in the region.